Let's start with the question. Are cars placed by a player valid road blocks? If I drive some cars to a bridge and park them all next to each other, will they provide a road block for wandering zombies and hordes? I want to create some road blocks so I can use my outposts in other locations. But I want to feel safe when doing so. So I don't want the vehicle to despawn after a while or get destroyed or pushed aside by the zombies. Or that they climb over it. I also don't want zombies to stack up at that location. Preventing me from ever using that passage because a super horde has amassed at that location. So the specific answers I am looking for, is there a chance that they will despawn after a while? Will zombies push it aside, destroy it, climb over it? Will the zombies stack up at that location because their progress is blocked? So how can we solve this? There are two possible answers. Answer 1. Using cars as roadblocks seems like a great idea, but it's actually a very really very very bad idea. As some things have been pointed out by DC Shannon roadblocks outside safe zones will still have hordes spawning on the wrong zone's side of the roadblock and close to your home, outposts. Hordes are destroyed when entering a safe zone. So zones are better than roadblocks as per my own observations cars do not block passive hordes. Each horde seems to have a main zombie that carries the horde icon on your map and when surveying. When the whole horde is blocked. The main zombie will speedrun an alternative route if close enough to bypass the blockade. In my case he just jumped in the river and then climbed back up to emerge on the other side of the bridge. Then the rest of the horde will be teleported past the blockade to where the main zombie is. And they continue their late night walk. Saw this happen with two hordes in a row. Cars do block aggroed hordes. But I don't advise to use this. As a player you cannot jump over cars or on top of them. So you have to be on the correct side of the blockade to have a good use for it. Blockades also hinder you from escaping and hordes usually attract some extra zombies from the area. Single passive wandering zombies are blocked by a blockade. But they just wander around a bit and get somewhere else to answer my three specific question about this. Is there a chance that they will despawn after a while? No, vehicles do not seem to despawn. Will zombies push it aside, destroy it, climb over it? No, even worse, they teleport through it. The game has a mechanic that prevents you from blocking off roads for hordes. Will the zombies stack up at that location because their progress is blocked? Only if you aggro zombies, they will try to reach you and get stuck at the cars. Not advised though. Answer 2. I've played through this game many times. Have all the achievements. And have played breakdown up to level 19. I've never actually tried what you're suggesting. It's never been needed, and I don't think it would work very well anyway. It sounds like you want to block off the roads and move your outposts elsewhere. In order to keep your base safe. If you move the outposts, then you lose the safe zone. If the roadblock is outside of a safe zone, then zombies can just spawn inside the roadblock, defeating the whole point. If it's inside a safe zone, then you don't need it, because your outpost will just destroy the hordes anyway. Assuming you set traps, which you should always do. Ignoring those issues, yes the cars should block zombies from walking across the bridge. But, again, that doesn't matter because either you're in a safe zone already, or you're not and they can just spawn on the wrong side. Additionally, the zombies will probably just find a way around. VAR tested this, and found that once one of the zombies makes it past, the rest of the horde just teleports to them. I hope these answers helped, and if they did, please drop a comment and subscribe.